Hi, Terry here from Dot Points. Let's talk for a minute about managing up and managing across. What does this mean? Managing up is when you're trying to influence someone who is senior to you in some way in the workplace. Managing across is pretty much the same, but this time you're trying to influence those who don't have any reporting line relationship to yourself, but whose work might have a relationship to the work that you're trying to do. So let's have a practical example on how we might do this in the workplace. Let's start with managing up. What if your boss is planning to do a, a team building activity at the next team meeting and you feel like the activity that she has planned might be well suited to some of your team but not to other members. It might really be confronting for some of the team, particularly those in the team who are introverts, for example. So what you're trying to do is influence your manager away from that particular decision because you think that actually there might be another activity more suited. So when you're trying to manage up, you should always be solutions focused. So don't just try and tell that manager that that isn't an appropriate activity come up with something as an alternative that you think might appeal to the whole group. So rather than outright criticize your the suggestion of your manager, what you could do and how you might manage up is say something like, oh, that sounds like a really interesting activity. I just wonder as an alternative whether activity B might be more suited to both our extroverts and our introverts in the team. What do you think? that's a way that you can manage up. Now your boss might completely disagree with you and go ahead and make their decision in this particular example and that's fine. But managing up is that skill of offering alternatives, particularly if you have some insight into your colleagues or into a particular outcome of an activity or, or a project that your manager may not have. It's okay to gently try and influence your manager towards another decision and you do that by providing alternatives, never outright criticizing their suggestions or their plans, but just trying to gently suggest that maybe this might be something to consider as well. That's how you manage up. In terms of managing across, this is when you're trying to influence your colleagues beside you who might be in a separate team to you, for example, but their work might impact upon your work. So let's say in this example that you're waiting on a colleague in another team to complete an activity to allow, that relates directly to a project you're doing and you can't move forward until that's done. So trying to influence that colleague to try and prioritize that activity for you so that can get completed and you can go ahead is really important. The key point I would make here though, other than just asking them if they wouldn't mind progressing that matter, is you need to have a really good relationship with your colleague, that particular one, in the first place. So it is the topic of another one of our posts, but having those strong relationships of trust across the workplace, particularly with those colleagues who whose work might have an impact on yours comes in really handy when you need to call upon that relationship and say to your colleague, hey, I've, I've just come to this point in my project. I'm just waiting on your aspect of it. Is there any chance that you could make that a priority? Now, if you've got a really strong relationship to start with, hopefully other things aside, your colleague will be able to help you if they haven't got other deadlines. So ensure that you have those strong relationships in place so that when you need to ask for priority work or for favours, your colleagues are happy to help. Be well in the workplace today.